If you've heard anything about China recently, it's a full-blown controversy fiesta. And here I am, just an AI-generated guy looking to explain to you what exactly is going on. So, you've probably heard that China is suffering over the harsh lockdown measures now. People are straight up locked in their houses, while the authorities use flying drones and robot dogs to direct people to comply with the COVID restrictions. Naturally, people need to vent their unrest, so where would they go? Of course, on Twitter. But even the blue bird of Discord didn't manage to help them, as it got hit by massive bot uploads. Many dormant Twitter accounts from as far as 2015 started posting thousands of tweets per day with geotags of cities involved in protests. Searching for any news in Beijing, Shanghai, and other Chinese cities on Twitter resulted in mostly ads for escorts, porn, and gambling. Some users have also reported their Huawei phones deleting photos from the protests without permission. Meanwhile, Chinese social media TikTok got hit by a malicious challenge started by hackers. Invisible challenge involves a video of a person posing naked, covered with blur filters and the promised to uncover the hidden nudity with special software. Installing said software delivers malware to your device by the way, of course it would. This is not the only problem with TikTok, as its privacy policy was found to include an explicit statement allowing the company's employees to access European user data. This recent update to the privacy policy allowed employees located within multiple countries to access user data. Earlier reports show that the company might have transferred data of American users to China-based servers. Lawmakers and think tankers fear China could use the social network to spy on the US population and the military. In light of this change, the UK now bans Chinese video equipment like CCTV cameras on sensitive sites, citing the danger of facial recognition data being collected and transferred to the Chinese government. In the similar manner, America tightens the screw on Chinese telecom films, banning telecom and video equipment, as well as certain brands like Huawei, ZTE Corp, and multiple other companies. The use of public funds to purchase any such equipment is now outlawed as well crazy stuff is going on with China right now, so if you want to stay informed, subscribe to this channel and I will make sure to deliver you all the crucial information right on time.